It's been seven years since I've started my carnivore journey, and for those of you that haven't seen my video last year, Six Years Carnivore, I spoke about how I specifically got started, my overall transition to the diet, really just a summary of six years of being on it. This time, I want to share with you guys a fairly sad story about the first few months on the diet and what has happened since that six year carnivore video. As many of you know, I took a drug called Accutane that rendered me unable to digest starches. Uh, I can digest sugar, fructose, and glucose to some degree, but the only food that I really digest well is animal protein, animal fat. At the time when I started, I was in and out of community college, had no job, and my parents weren't exactly supportive during my struggles. Uh, thankfully, my mother was giving me money for food every week. I think about like 80 to to $100. I don't remember the specific amount, but that didn't really go far for ordering grass-fed beef online, and I didn't know where else to get quality food. I was literally starving myself to death. I was eating like five pounds of lean ribeye steaks per week. It's all I could afford. And if there was a Frankie's free range meat at the time, I would have been eating at least two to three times as much food. You know, all of the online companies took advantage of the grass fed marketing and they still do. I must have been like 120 pounds, maybe even less. And I really wish I had more pictures for you guys because I was up to 185 pounds when I was bodybuilding and then I was down to 120 pounds uh, when I couldn't afford to eat the food that I was able to digest. Thankfully, I found a job as a private personal trainer in early 2013. It wasn't paying that well, but I was making enough money to pay for my own food. Those unfortunate few months are why I remember the rough period of time I started carnivore. My PP literally wasn't working at all. No erections whatsoever for that period of time I was starving myself. You know, pretty much the definition of rabbit starvation, no fat, no nutrients, just lean meat. Uh, but hey, uh, that's what the grain-fed carnivores want you to do, eat meat and drink water. I could have really used some more guidance back then. I have a pretty poor memory in general as I've never really slept well in my life. Uh, this story being one of the many that I've forgotten. Uh, that came to mind when I was thinking about doing this video. But moving on to slightly more positive notes, uh, my channel has exploded in popularity this year. You know, back on July 7th, 2018, the only date I remember outside of birthdays and holidays, I made a video that I was going to delete my channel. Uh, thankfully, I stuck it out. Uh, and over the course of the next few months, I went from like 3,000 subscribers to over 50,000 and that's where things seem to have halted. But I didn't just make a video about deleting my YouTube channel. I actually deleted hundreds of videos, you know, over 500 that I had made since summer of 2016, and this is my biggest regret. You know, various educational topics, uh, similar to concepts that I have made this year. You know, some of those topics I have refined and done better. Uh, some I have kept to myself, and others have been forgotten. Uh, one of my viewers did save over 100 of my videos, uh, which is why I was able to upload some back up around that week. Uh, so if you go back to the oldest videos on my YouTube channel, uh, you will see all of those older uploads. Uh, you guys might remember I helped my sister go from obese to a normal body weight. Uh, she hasn't gained the weight back, but I still have to stay on top of my parents because otherwise she'll gain about 15 pounds in two weeks. Uh, it's a constant struggle, and I wish my parents never allowed her to develop such unhealthy eating habits, and they have very poor eating habits themselves. Uh, my sister will literally eat every meal until she is sick, uh, but on carnivore, meat actually satiates her appetite. Uh, so if she just eats normal food, standard American diet or stuff, I've never seen her not finish a plate of food. She can eat more than me, and she's you know less than five feet tall. This year specifically, however, has been somewhat of a roller coaster. Some glimpses of hope and an unfortunate amount of negativity to deal with. Uh, I was actually supposed to be on the very popular YouTube channel, What I've Learned. Uh, I even interviewed with him at a hotel in Queens. 
uh, when he came to New York City, uh, but he decided not to post my interview as he claimed I was talking about some touchy subjects on my YouTube channel at the time. Uh, I guess that's what I deserve for truly caring about my viewers, you know, letting you guys know about stuff like EMF uh, that's not really approachable to the mainstream. Uh, not being invited to the Cornivore conference last year puzzled me as that was before anything controversial happened between me and the Cornivore community. Uh, as I was the largest Cornivore on YouTube uh, by far at the time as well as the most educated carnivore on a variety of topics. Uh, I guess next year this gives them an excuse not to invite me as I've called out just about every single one of them for being special interest funded. You know, they refuse to collaborate with me uh, afterwards and even before. You know, I've been reaching out to dozens and dozens of other people to try to get them on my channel, have conversations with them uh, since, you know, the beginning of 2018 really. And not to mention, I'm banned from every single Cornivore Facebook group and Reddit forum. Uh, I mean, I guess unless you're a sweaty virgin, uh, you're not going to be on Reddit. You know, I never thought that two years after the carnivore diet was popularized by Jordan Peterson, I would still have a hard time spreading my knowledge and ideas about the importance of fat-soluble vitamins, especially in the context of a ketogenic and carnivore diet. It's the best selling point. You know, the carnivore diet does one thing in most cases, removes inflammation. But if you told people the carnivore diet is the most nutritious diet there is, isn't that the best selling point whatsoever? No, because it compromises their special interest goal of stuffing people full of cheap, shitty meat. And if they actually started talking about fat soluble vitamins, then people would start questioning the quality of the food because if the food isn't raised naturally in a high quality environment, it will not contain those vitamins. Uh, I mean, my ideas are being more accepted. You know, there are plenty of people posting about cod liver oil, you know, even transdermal vitamin D3, many of the things that originated and I've spoken about on my channel, but my name is not being mentioned, you know, partially because I've been banned, partially because my ideas have been pirated by this carnivore community. You know, on one hand, you might be thinking, you know, Frank, aren't more people going to get healthy? What I've actually seen is my information being used as a guise to sell supplements, you know, charge people $600 to join a meat club, you know, hey, make sure to sprinkle some collagen on your steaks and chew on some eggshells. Uh, so I've been dealing with many negatives from a community that I've technically never been a part of. You know, they didn't support me when my Kickstarter got taken down earlier this year. You would think, you know, vegans would prefer if carnivores were eating high quality grass fed beef, but the carnivores certainly don't want that. And they definitely didn't defend me when my videos were plagiarized by their inside man. I can't believe they had the nerve to get this freshly minted psychiatrist to memorize my videos and put on some clown shoes. You know, all they really did was use me when they saw it fit to get more views from my name or from a networking opportunity. Speaking of my Kickstarter getting taken down, my increasing anti-vegan involvement has been a double-edged sword. Yes, I have grown in popularity and helped snap many people out of the vegan haze, but as you can imagine, I have dozens if not hundreds of vegans insulting me every day on my channel. That combined with the grain-fed carnivores trying to gaslight me, I haven't been having too much fun. Before this, my channel was all flowers and roses. It was all super positive. And now I have to sift through, you know, 70 to 80% negative comments from these shills. Uh, we had a few debates earlier this year uh, with those psychopathic shills, but their true colors showed when they got my Kickstarter taken down by mass reporting it and correspondingly tried to ruin my business. A business that promoted meat from animals that are treated properly. You know, you would think vegans would be supporting me over these other carnivores. The sheer workload that I have achieved this year is something I am proud of. You know, I've done around 150 educational videos, about 150 vegan related videos, and even 100 more miscellaneous videos, you know, such as days of eating, vlogs, live streams. I've also improved the production quality dramatically, you know, with my camera as well as my editing skills. 
I'm sure you guys have enjoyed some of my thumbnails. I've been trying to portray my sense of humor more, but the difficulties and negatives that I've dealt with in my life up to this point and, you know, more relevantly in the past year have made me a more serious person than I want to be. You know, combining all of these downsides with my lack of sleep makes pretty much everything I want to do a chore. You know, filming videos, going to the gym, live streams. I do have glimpses where I enjoy myself a little bit, but overall I've committed myself to this and you don't get rewarded without rising above everyone else and that requires sacrifice. Overall, I'm looking forward to continue building my own positive community. You know, I'd like to think I have a skill set that most people would kill for and I plan on using that to the best of my ability to separate myself above and beyond everyone else in my personal goal of improving the health of as many people as possible. Along the way, you know, this hasn't been entirely positive. It hasn't been enjoyable. Uh, you know, I said earlier, flowers and roses. There are things that have to be done that do not appear conducive to my end goal. You know, whether these are necessary or not, I am attempting to use my best judgment at making these decisions, you know, on what I should be doing. And I haven't met anyone with as much integrity as myself. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, of course, above all, you know, just visit my channel every day and uh, share the video. If you guys do want to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, if you do want to reach out to me for health consultations, uh, you can send me an email frank at frank-defino.com.